All right. I am going to read I Want to Walk as a Child of the Light. This one I do know. I, f- I feel like I did this one not that long ago um, for a service. But uh, for some reason, I doubt that I played the hymnal version of it. I tend to mostly not. I tend to... Uh, <coughs> you can get... At least in the past, I was able to get the... Uh, I guess sometimes I use the guitar version of this that has chords. So it's basically lead sheets. Um because a lot of times I'll read through the hymn version just once and decide that the accompaniment is just too dry for uh, the kind of things that I'm doing. And so I'll use that because it's already got the chords written now. It just makes it really easy to use a lead sheet to make a more interesting accompaniment. So I don't know um, how familiar I am with this accompaniment. Let's go. actually do remember the last time that I had to do this <clears throat> I changed the key um, I was having trouble with yeah that that, that thing um, doing that consistently my, my voice was in bad shape man it's in really rough shape now because I haven't been doing <clears throat> anything that makes me have to sing but yeah uh, being able to consistently hit that in the middle of a service when your voice is just really tired. So I moved the key down to, to make sure I could get it. So, um, which means I was totally just faking the accompaniment. So let's try to read this again. It didn't go so great the first time. There's lots of really large, uh, stuff in the, in the left hand between the bass and the tenor. So, um, yeah, right there on the s- third to last bar, it's a really interesting, tricky bit. 
where the tenor and bass are both on this A. But then the tenor jumps up to this E, which is in the middle of the sustaining uh, soprano and alto voices. That's weird. So yeah. <clears throat> and then once again, as it walks down, the tenor is above the alto, so <laughs> uh, it's just a weird reading thing. Okay. What was that spot I wanted to look at? I've distracted myself and, and lost track of what it was. Well, I'll look at it when I get to it on this third reading. The B is not moving. I'm just grabbing the octave there. It's still really awkward. I wish I could reach that ninth more comfortably. enough. <laughs> we'll call it for that. <laughs> 